hello everyone and welcome today to another video in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to get Elizabeth Swan and how to master her make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel it motivate me to make more videos so here she is I actually I have her four star now but when I started when the event started I got her with three stars now she's at rank 5 and I'm gonna upgrade her to rank 6 because I'm gonna be showing you guys I'm, go I'm gonna be playing the master mode side missions so now she's uh, at 60 and I think that will do for the master mode it's gonna be very tough on most difficult but should be alright here is the talents I have I might need to upgrade some of them I might not so I actually got her from the uh, crystals I wasn't lucky with the event crystals so I had you know I had to spend some orbs on the on her crystal that I bought and actually I almost spent around 2000 orbs to get her after I opened like 10 of her famed crystal so that's what you need you need her at three star and then you can start doing the normal mode at first which i already did i'm gonna show you this with a three star and you just need to rank her up and i did the hard i also did the expert and now i'm gonna do with you the master mode and also i'm gonna be showing you how to master and talk about her a little bit all right i got 1906 team power which is really low so let's go back here actually i'm gonna level her level her up at level uh, rank 7 because i need to upgrade merida to 100 so i need her to be at 72 but uh, i don't have the tier 3 diamond at the moment so I'm not gonna do it now just later on and also I'm gonna try to add a little bit more power to her and uh, I'm just gonna get some diamond shard for now I'm gonna actually do the relics for her I'm gonna swap Merida relics this way I can level her up a little bit uh, increase the power so this will help me in the fight and you can do the same thing too this is i do this with most of them so put the good relics on and now let's go back to the fight okay now it's better got almost 2361 So the first fight is not too bad uh, Because you're dealing uh, with uh, a melee guardian So you really have a good chance to win this You just need to avoid getting hit by her Avoid getting hit at all costs for a guaranteed win So when you start the encounter you're gonna get the 4 zeal uh, charges And this will actually make the basic attack deal more damage and once you hit the enemy with uh, a zeal or uh, a heavy attack it would be marked as a breaker of the code which is gonna prevent her from healing but it, you can only do this to one fractured at time and for her special ability the broadside it's really strong so basically you fire she will fire a 5 spirit cannon shots the fire shot is fired at her target and all remaining shot will land in a random location on the battlefield dealing 600% damage to any enemies at each location so it's really helpful also the mark fractured with the breaker of the code is gonna be rooted for 5 seconds too once you do the special ability when the breaker of the code is hit by a spirit cannon shot 
they are knocked back and dealt an additional 200% damage and also when a breaker of the code is defeated Elizabeth's special ability fires one additional spirit cannon shot for the rest of the encounter and you can max that up till 10 shots and so each time you kill a fracture the special ability is gonna deal more damage and when you unlock her 4 star you'll be getting the signature ability which is will give you a focus buff a chance of a focus buff when you hit a, a fracture that marked with the breaker of the code with a basic attack so that's a plus 2 and I do think Elizabeth is one actually is a, a top tier guardian she's really strong a lot of damage guys and now I got her at 5 star which is really good so I'm gonna be doing the master mode and let's see what we can do it's gonna be a very tough fight so it's not like uh, the first fight the A1 is a pretty smooth you can do it easily but uh, the A2 it's really hard it took me a lot of tries to win so I'm gonna be showing you how to do it and I hope I make it easier for you I started the encounter with the four Zeke charges and you need to keep the zeal going up and you can do that by doing a heavy attack but also you wanna make sure that you don't get hit by Ariel or anyone because you will die if you get hit by one heavy attack you're gonna be dead if you're doing it on most difficult so make sure you do that carefully and a good way to do that is that uh, you know like whenever they do an a special ability or aerial do an a special ability you just do the heavy attack but don't risk it if you are gonna get hit try not to get hit you need to avoid the damage at all cost so one good thing is that you let aerial get close to you and let her activate her heavy attack or a special ability this way you have a chance to get the zeal one more time but you have to make sure that you do it safely you don't want to get hit by the melee guardians at all cost and the reason you need the zeal is the time you're gonna run out of time I had I did a couple of tries and I was only off by two seconds I would just die out of time and you know with the last guardian it would be very low but I would run out of time so that's why you need the uh, zeal it would increase your basic attack damage this way you can do it alright so now Mike came up and you have to avoid getting hit by him too you could see how I'm trying to avoid his basic attacks also you don't want to get by a heavy attack by him this way you can get him too so try just keep moving don't get hit and you'll get him too
fight guys and this is was it for the master mode and now I have her uh, at 5 star I did it on level 60 it's possible it's very difficult the A2 took me a lot of tries to win this but it was very good you just need to keep it trying the talents work out perfect for me I didn't have to improve it I just did uh, like you see 2 3 3 advanced 2 advanced talent and the elite talent so it worked out perfect so you just need to keep it trying if you lose you can do it at 60 if you want to make it a little bit easier you can rank her to 7 and you know level her up to 70 this way you don't have to it's gonna be less difficult for you but for me I did it I took me a lot of tries but at the end it worked out for me since I don't have the the shards to rank it to rank her up so it worked out perfect I hope you like the video uh, subscribe to my channel it would motivate me to make more videos peace